only have 24 hours to create a brand new ad for the Nintendo Switch 2, completely from scratch. In case you didn't know, Nintendo just released an ad for the bigger, better Nintendo Switch 2. The ad was really cool and slick, but to be honest, as a Nintendo fan myself, it didn't feel like the Nintendo I grew up with. It looked like they just dropped a Switch into the Hotline Bling music video. But hey, no one likes a critic throwing rocks from the outside, so I want to step into the arena and create my own take on the Nintendo Switch 2. But this time, it's the Super Nintendo Switch. I wanted to make an ad that felt like classic Nintendo, playing fun games close to the TV like Mario Kart and Legend of Zelda, but in 2025. So this weekend, I'm gonna make my own ad for the Super Nintendo Switch, from concept to animation to rendering everything in just 24 hours, and leave you a roadmap so you can do the same exact thing. By the way, we're almost at 100,000 subscribers, so if you haven't already, press subscribe below, and let's get started. First, let's start out with our own concept. So I want to start with Mario. I grew up playing Super Mario World and it's super nostalgic, it's colorful, graphic, and when I think of Nintendo, I don't think of these pastel colors. I think of big, bold colors like red, blues, yellows, just like Mario Brothers 3 or like Super Nintendo World in Orlando. So we need to keep everything big, simple, and bold. Big colors, big icons, and extremely graphic. I'd also love to do something with Mario Kart. I immediately had this idea about Mario drifting across the racetrack, but instead we could do it on the top of a Nintendo Switch itself drifting left and right, hopefully giving this ad this feeling of competition, winning that race, and playing these games yourself. So now we have some cool concepts, but we need to go from idea to film. If you didn't know, I've spent the last nine years working on Hollywood visual effects, and the last three making films in Unreal Engine 5. And you wanna know the number one lesson I've learned since making animated movies? It's not to start with the visual effects, it's to start with the soundtrack, especially for an advertisement like this. So after doing some digging here, I found a fun, snappy song that fits the vibe for a quick 15 second ad. I also grabbed a collection of classic Mario sounds of destroying blocks, power-ups, and Link swinging his sword. And of course, we need that iconic clap of the Switch connecting together. And it's really fun to sketch out ideas right here in the soundtrack. It's so much faster when you're not worrying about the visuals at all. Now we have 21 hours left to do the entire animation from scratch. Now, a challenge like this used to be impossible. Rendering is super slow, and if you've seen the new Super Mario Brothers movie in the theaters, just a single still frame might take hours to render out. That's just one single frame, which is why in this project, I'm using my secret weapon, Unreal Engine 5. Because we're working in a game engine, I can eliminate render times completely. It's so much easier to be creative and come up with ideas when you're working in real time because you're never waiting around on a noisy render. But here's the problem. We need to get the 3D models of Mario, the Nintendo Switch, anything from Mario Kart, so there's no time to waste. So to get all the 3D models, I wanna share one of my favorite free resources, sketchfab.com, which is great for personal projects. After a quick search, I've been able to find models of the Nintendo Switch, Piranha Plants, Mario's Kart, and 3D coins. And it looks like in the end, I'm gonna find everything I need off of sketchfab.com. The only problem is none of these 3D models are rigged. So if I wanna animate these characters, I'm gonna have to rig them myself. Now the good news is that with Unreal 5.4 and beyond, you can rig directly inside of Unreal without using any other software. So I found this Mario Kart model that was already textured on Sketchfab, but using the skeletal mesh editor, I can make some quick controls for the tires and steering wheel so I have all that I need to start making this car drift around corners and win the race. I even found this piranha plant and it was super easy to rig with just six or seven bones inside of Unreal so I could begin animation right away. I was also able to rig Mario in no time at all by uploading this model to Mixamo.com. Then I used my own plugin, the One Click Control Rig, to instantly generate a full body rig so I can animate him directly inside of Unreal Engine. If you wanna use this yourself, you can download it for free right now using the link below at unrealforvfx.com slash rig. Now it still took a lot of time to get everything prepped, so we just have 16 hours left on the clock, but we're finally ready to start designing some simple animations with the Nintendo Switch, snapping together and creating some smooth dynamic movement. I'm gonna start off by animating the Switch itself, and I even separated all of the different buttons and joysticks so we can capture that feeling of playing Nintendo games. Another great feature in Unreal 5.4 is the new motion design tool set. 
This makes it super fast to create 3D text graphics just like this. And there's so many tools to create complex motion graphics with really simple tools. I use that to create the Super Mario logo by finding the font online and just bringing it directly into Unreal. Then I can add different text effects like bevels and changing the color until we're matching the right vibe of Super Nintendo World. Another overlooked feature in Unreal Engine is that you can add music and sound effects directly into your timeline. And basically you can turn Unreal into your editing software. So one of the first steps is taking that soundtrack and dragging it directly into Sequencer. Now when I scroll backwards and forwards, I can make sure that my animations match perfectly to the music. Now we're gonna have to create a bunch of different shots. So as I'm designing these shots, I'm trying to think more as a graphic designer instead of a filmmaker as a constant reminder to keep things big, bold, but simple. For the backgrounds, instead of having these be super complicated, I'm gonna try adding in solid colors to replace the entire background instead of 3D models. By adding in this red and blue color palette, I think it gives this feeling of competition, like two football teams facing off and this way we're getting those bold colors without spending much time. All right, time is ticking fast, but next let's talk about lighting. Did you know there's something every car commercial and Apple commercial does to make their products look perfectly engineered? It's not good enough just to have a great 3D model of your product. The missing ingredient is lighting, but how they light these products is not how you think. Well, you need to light with reflections. Let me explain. Do you see the smooth highlights rolling off of this iPhone here? These are actually reflections. Think of this iPhone as a giant mirror. What we wanna do is create these giant reflections or these huge boxes of lights that can be used as a reflection off of the surface of a car or an iPhone. This can be done with huge amounts of diffusion and soft boxes, or even by using light tubes and surrounding your products with them. So in this shot right here, I don't wanna light the surface of the switch by throwing light directly on it. Instead, I'm gonna move my lights far away and make sure the surface area is huge so that it can be reflected on the surface, just like in a real car commercial. You can see the yellow bounding box that creates the size of this light here. And if you look up close, when I move this light, I also change the reflections. The only reason that this white stripe is showing up right here is because it's a reflection. Now to do this in a creative way, I like looking through my camera by using the Shift C hotkey. And then all I need to do is change the location of this light. And now I can add in some nice smooth animations to have these reflections sweeping across our products here. Once you start noticing this, you'll see it in every single product commercial out there. And if you want your work to look the same, then use this trick in your next project. All right, we have eight hours left, but now it's time to create some action. I wanted to save the best shot for last and create something that combines all these different ideas together. Bring Mario Kart to life with Mario drifting in and out of danger right on top of the Switch. So with all of these models already rigged, I took Mario and parented him into the cart. Next, I used constraints to constrain his hands to the steering wheel. This way, all I need to do is rotate the steering wheel and the rest of his body will automatically twist and turn correctly thanks to the one-click control rig. Let's block out a rough animation with just the body of the car to make sure he's turning left and right and we can create some dynamic timing and camera movement that lines up to these fun action beats. Next, let's start spinning the tires and have them rotating as he's moving left and right. Now it's time to animate the steering wheel once and for all. And I'm also gonna finesse his hands so we get the most interesting poses possible as he's cranking that steering wheel left and right. Next, let's figure out a way to add in the Mario Kart track. I have all these blocks and coins, so I'm gonna animate them to rush past Mario's cart. And lastly, I need to find a place to put this piranha plant, so let's add in that warp pipe, put the piranha plant on top, and add one last attack animation before the shot ends. Cool, now everything is coming together, but the shot doesn't feel fast enough. I wanna amplify that feeling of speed with all these elements rushing past. So I think it might be cool to add in some 2D motion lines. I see this technique all over anime and 2D animation in general, but it'd be really fun to add in these motion lines that are streaking past, rushing by as Mario is driving on top of this racetrack. And thankfully this is super easy inside of Unreal. All I had to do was find some clips that have the same exact motion, and then I can import them directly into Unreal as a media plate. This way I can take that 2D footage and put it in 3D space and move all these motion lines around 
to make the perfect composition with the camera. I can see everything live right here in the viewport, and this is why I love working in Unreal, because it's so creative from start to finish. With animation done, we just have two hours left to render everything out and add in the final touches before we finish this up. Now, normally it'd be impossible to render out a full CG commercial like this with less than two hours, but with Unreal and my lightning fast render presets, we can render everything in real time. This way, my 15 second ad takes just about 15 seconds to render. Now, there's one thing I'm noticing here with our Mario Kart shot. If you look at the surface of the Nintendo Switch, you can see that our reflections are actually broken. I'd expect to see underneath Mario's cart here, but instead I get this yellow block. And this is because Unreal Engine is cheating to make this all render in real time. So on this one shot, I turned on the path tracer. Immediately, you can see the difference. Now all of our reflections match perfectly with what you'd expect in real life. Now path tracing does take longer, so I only wanna use this technique when I absolutely need it. And this way I can work as fast as possible. Possible. To get that last glow and diffusion that you'd expect from these high-end product commercials with my one-click compositing template, which adds all the lens imperfections that you get from a real cinematic camera lens. And there we go, with just five minutes left on the clock, we finished the entire ad in just 24 hours. Let's take a look at the final result. If you want to make your own Hollywood level visual effects just like this, you don't need to be an expert to do this yourself. I believe anyone can make their own movies using Unreal Engine 5. Just check out Unreal Fundamentals. We'll take you from a complete beginner to making Hollywood level films using Unreal Engine 5. We've already helped 500 students just like you and I'd love to help you do the same exact thing. So check it out right now at unrealforvfx.com slash fundamentals or click the link in the description below and I'll give you all the templates and cheat sheets that made this 24 hour challenge possible. I hope you learned something new. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.